first round J-Men will be declared and it will follow another round. So it will take at least 15 more days to complete the entire admission process for the first year. We are yet to complete the decentralized counseling as well. So more people will join. Already we are saturated in some of the courses. Some of the courses are already saturated. And by the end of this month, we hope to start with full swing. But as per the instruction of the university and other uh, governing authorities, uh, we are organizing this orientation program. Uh, yes, we really uh, feel sorry for them, those who are unable to join this program because their final admission is not yet over. Anyway, so once again, I welcome to the portals of HETC, I welcome you all, the new entrants from the first year as well as from the second year as well. So please put your hands together, everybody, for each other, for all the new entrants as well as for all the faculty members and all the stakeholders. Well, before we move on to the lamp lighting ceremony, with a heavy heart, I would like to share with you, and of course, most of you know this, that one of the founder members of Hooghly Engineering and Technology College and also the member of parliament, the former member of parliament, Professor Rup Chakpal, is no more with us. In mid-August, he left us forever. And today, we pay tribute from the core of our heart to his departed soul. I request all of you to stand for a while and pay your respect to Professor Luke Chakpal, the founder member, one of the founder members of this institution. One minute of silence, please. Thank you. Besides Professor Pal, in the last few years we have lost many of our fellow citizens across the globe because of this pandemic and other natural disasters and because of natural death as well. We also pay our homage and tribute from the core of our heart to all those departed souls. Now I request the Honorable President of Hooghly Engineering and Technology College Society, Professor Dr. Tarok Kumar Bandopadhyay, Secretary HET Space and HOD of Electrical Engineering Department, Dr. Obhijit Maithi, and Principal in Charge as well as the HOD of Mechanical Engineering Department, Dr. Smithodi Ganguly, to come on stage and move on with the lamp lighting ceremony. Volunteers, please assist our honorable professors. to lead the lamp and mark the beginning of this auspicious program. Please put your hands together. May this light of education remove all the darkness across the globe, the darkness of superstition, the darkness of all that pulls us back. This is really an auspicious moment. So please be seated. Okay, so following this lamp lightning ceremony, 
Now I request our student, second year, uh, Buddha Dikto, Buddha Dikto is from third year, sorry, Buddha Dikto Mukherjee to come on stage. He's a beautiful performer. I would request him uh, to set the tune of this program with his beautiful performance of flute. He's a beautiful performer, he's a musician. I request Buddha Dikto to come on stage. Buddha Dikto. President of Ugly Engineering and Technology College Society, Professor Dr. T. K. Bandupadhyay, who is also one of the founder members of this college. I request him to address the gathering today. Please, sir. The respected Professor Obhijit Bhaiti, Professor Dr. Obhijit Bhaiti, Secretary of Ugly Engineering and Technology College Society, respected Professor Dr. Smithodi Gauni, Principal in Charge, my respected faculty members, staff members, my old students, new students, and the respected guardians. I am privileged to act, announce that we are going to start the next batch of engineering classes from this, this day. Some delay is there due to some problems, but I can assure you that from the HETCS, you will get something which is very positive. The institute was started, actually we, we started to uh, start this engineering college in the year 1998. And then Professor Rupchapal was with me. We tried to establish these things and we have taken some time. We started the first batch from the 2004, that is the ICT approval. Till today we have lots of students who have passed out. There is a difference of this institute with the other institute. This is a society and college. Nobody is the proprietor, director, managing director of this college. Nobody takes the money from this society. And in other colleges what happens, there is a question that the money is being taken by the administrator, managing director or what we call CEO like this. But what we have done, the, the remunerations or the plus points we have, which we actually get, that is going to be reinvested for the development of the institute. And you will be astonished to know that in the year 2004, there was a craze for the admission in these electronics and the other branches. People were taking the donation. But I am telling you that we have not accepted any donation from anybody. We do not charge any, we don't have any management quota in this institution. And apart from that, what we did, we actually get some scholarship, we have given some scholarship to the students, the poor students who are financially weak, so that they can get the education. And I am very proud that some of our students, not only established in their fields, they are also doing the business, they are getting employment for the others. This is the plus point of the institute. Second thing is that we actually family and all these students 
who are actually here and we have some students who are my students now the faculty member in this institute this is the actually what we did for the last few years and you know that I have a lot of experience I have worked as principal for the 28 years and not only that I was faculty member, guest faculty professor of the Triple IIT Kollani, the professor of the Indian School of Social Welfare Business Management, and also the guest faculty of Jadavu University. I have a lot of teaching experience. What I can share with you, that if for the new entrants, the engineering is a different thing than from the science. And I have seen that some students whose mark is very not up to the mark, that means they have scored very poor in the higher secondary or the secondary level, but with their tenacity, they are the successful engineers. But I feel that there, there is a lot of difference between the young studies and the, in the case of the engineering. In the case of engineering, what I feel that you have to have the argument. If you don't have the argument for this, employ, the employing the technique, then you cannot be successful engineers. And the main difference with these engineering professors, with that of the other professors in the world, that if some engineers did some fault, it can be it can be detected at the later years. And we know that when the bridge collapsed, some <coughs> some inquiry commission is formed, and the the penalty is also been inflicted on the chief engineers. But in the case of the other mechanic, I am not uh, humiliating anything. If the doctors, if the patient dies in the hospital, now there is a trend that 5% or 10% of the uh, victims are going to harass the doctors. But it is not the case. In the case of the in the case of the death of a patient, what would happen? They actually they, they will go to the burning hut and everything will be hushed up. But in the case of the engineering, it is not like that. In the case of the engineering, it can be diagnosed whose fault. So I feel that in the case of the engineering field, what I have to do, what you have to do rather, you have to study, study and study. And you know that your knowledge, that is your knowledge when it's going to be <laughs> integrated with the skill, then you have the efficiency. If, if you don't have the efficiency, then there is no question of the employment. And the engineers, what we feel, that their guarantee is with the knowledge. If the knowledge they can pursue, then automatically they, I can give the guarantee that the employment should be there. And in our case, for the last few years, what I have seen, in the last year also, some students got 17 employments and some students failed. It is okay. The thing is that if you are, if you are very talkative, you are, if you are very uh, skillful in the computer, but it is not the last thing that all the skill in the computers will face some job for you. What we have to do, we have to know the basic um, subjects. If you do not know the basic subjects, if you do not know the basic subjects, then it is very difficult for you. Now, in, you see that in the case of the engineering, the principle of the ethics of the engineers are number one, honesty, number two, integrity, number three, number three, promise keeping, then fidelity, then firmness, then respect to others, respect for others and responsible for responsible for citizenship. If you pursue these sections, pursue these qualities, then definitely you can be an engineer. For, the, for being a good engineer, what qualities you have to do? We, we feel that when we are going to engineering, then we do not learn, we, do not, we can actually skip up the knowledge what we have learned in the class 10, class 12 standard. But for the good quality of the engineers or successful engineers, what is requirement? Requirement is that strong mathematics and science. If some engineers do not know what is the mathematics and science, then there is a 100% chance that you will fail. Because you see, when we are giving some, we are making some good building, if the foundation is weak, then the good building cannot sustain. In the case of the engineering also, some people feel that it is not required. Mathematics is not required, science is not required. It is a totally false, actually, applications, false applications for understanding. Then the engineer should have a high quality and analytical, uh, anal anal and should be anal analytical. That means if the quality is not there and you find that the analysis is not there, he cannot be good engineers. The engineer should be imaginative and creative. If the engineer is not imaginative and creative, then you see that you cannot develop something. I think you have not heard the name of Laplace, you have heard the name of the Fourier. You should be astonished to know that Laplace was an engineer, but what he developed, developed the thing, what is developed, that is the topics in the mathematics, isn't it? 
So mathematics that the engineers develop these things. Now it is a branch of mathematics. So engineers can create it. Engineers can be imaginative. Then should have the engineer should have a good communication skill. If he cannot communicate with the others, then he cannot get the job. Communication skill is very very required. Then enjoy the working team. We feel that I, I am getting 5,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees. I feel that I will switch over to other, other company where the salary is there. Salary is not the consideration. The working team, working spirit, working atmosphere is the requirement. If it is not there, then the employment should not be there. Then what you have to do? You have to <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy the working place. If you cannot work, enjoy the working place, if you cannot enjoy the team, then you cannot be a successful engineer. So these are the qualities. Now, what is the fundamental canons of these engineers? Number one, health, hold paramount, safety, and welfare of the other public. If he is not give the importance of the safety and welfare of the other public, then it is I feel that he is not a successful engineer. Perform service only at the areas of their competence. We feel that some engineers are going to have a basic degree in electrical engineering, but he is telling that I will do computer, I will do civil. It is not like that. You have to add their competence in a particular subject. Then, then and then only you can go for that. Then you should have. You should not issue the public statement when there is a requirement. If the requirement is not there, the engineers cannot make a public statement which is harmful for himself and which will be harmful for the other companies where he is working. And this statement can bring some uh, the effect, bad effect to the engineers. Now, act for, <laughs> act for each employer or client as faithful agent of trusty. If you, if you are not faithful agent of the employer, then you cannot get a confidence from your employer. So if you have to succeed, you see that what we have known, well, what we have seen, that some engineers who are starting with a very small careers, but they rose to the four position of the managing director. Okay, you have the hearty name of Rushi Modi, you know, he was an ITI qualified engineer. But what he did when he was with the steel industry, Tata Steel, he can remember the name of 10,000 employees. Can you imagine? He can call each and, employee, each and every employee by name. This is a certain quality, and this quality is going to be imbibed. The managing director of this Maruti Suzuki was a diploma holder engineer. So many degree holder PhD engineers are working under him. So this is the thing, you have to know the subject, you have to know the people, you have to know the culture. If you do not know these things, then you cannot be successful engineers. Only what we are doing, we are giving a certificate, this is a passport, this is entry to the some organization. But it does not guarantee that where you will, where you will rise. I can give one example that I was, when I was <coughs> principal of an engineering college, then some faculty members was with me and one of the faculty members was my classmate, okay. I was a principal and he was a faculty member. So you see that where you can reach, it is totally dependent on your quality. If you pursue this quality, then definitely you can reach to this point and that is the thing. And <coughs> number four, that avoid the deceptive acts. You should not be deception, you should not provide any deception to the society because it is the ethics of the engineers. Then you should have the uh, responsibility, it, uh, <coughs> uh, it's responsibility, it's responsibility. If you don't have the responsibility, what will happen? We will, we will damage to the society, you will create some problem to the society, you will create some problem to the employer. So the employer will not enter in this thing. And principles of ethics of engineering, I already told you, these are the principles of ethics. If you do not possess these ethics, you see, money, earning of the money is not the first thing. You can start with 10,000 rupees, but you can get some salary of 1 lakh of rupees within 2-3 years. This is totally your achievement. The certificate always remember, those who are entering here, that what you are reading here, what you are actually gasping here, you should actually um, uh, actually acquire these things and I, I, I repeat one thing that now I have found when I am taking the class majority of the students don't purchase the books they spend lots of money on their dresses but what we see that they are taking the, the book from the library from the library bank and using these things after one one year or six months they are receiving they are depositing these books and taking the another books but can you give the guarantee that the first year books or second year books will not be required for your employment then where will you get this book actually your knowledge your supporting staff is not your 
uh, this, uh, not your dresses, not your standard. It is supporting staff is your book. Always I advise my students to spend some money on the books. If you can spend some money on the books, then definitely you can possess some knowledge. When you are at a remote place, you will find that this book is going to be helpful. And the another thing, uh, this is the, this already I told you what should be done for the engineers. Now I am, <coughs> I am telling that what we are doing here. For the better betterment of the students, we have the NSS working to, uh, work NSS group. We have also this photogra photographic club, and we have introduced the free uh, yoga and the character scheme for every student here, free of cost. So this is the what we are doing, and not only that, what we are doing that for the very poor the, the candidates who have taken the admission, we will get 10, 10 students out of their merit, out of their financial condition. The dress they should not have to pay any cost for the dresses. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Dr. T.K. Bandhapadhyay. Uh, in brief, uh, he has uh, given a, a description of the background of this college and also the core requirements to become successful uh, in the corporate sector as well as to become successful and come up with flying colors in this society. And now may I request our Honorable Secretary of HETCS as well as the HOD of Electrical Engineering Department, Dr. Obhijit Maiti, to address today's gathering. Respected President, Public Engineering and Technology College Society, Dr. T.K. Bhandavartha, Respected Principal in Church, Dr. Smitadi Kangoli, Respected Faculty Members, Technical Staff, Administrative Members, Honorable Guardians, and last but not the least, my beloved students. First of all, on behalf of Public Engineering and Technology College, as well as College Society, I cordially welcome all of you to this college. Already President Sir has told several points. I will explain some things from there also. But, but one thing I can assure you that we are providing quality of education with the help of our experienced faculty members, technical assistants and state-of-the-art laboratories. The question is there. We have taken the admission here with a great hope that you will have that good job. But before going to have this good job, we have to remember few points. You will cover whole syllabus that is first semester to eighth semester. But at the same time, it is not like that as you have completed the course, so you will have the good job not. You will, you have, as you have completed this course, you will have the certificate, which is nothing but a gate pass to enter into the company, organization or for higher studies. So to have this what to do, we have to do some other extra curricular activities which is required in future. Because you know that if several companies is taking the examination regarding APT test, math, mathematical ability test, also there are some good discussions, extra for several things they are doing. Prime to five marks can differ. So please mind it. It is the competitive era, so in this era you have to prepare accordingly. We are providing versatile training programs to develop yourself as per company's basic needs. But what is your thinking? You have to be serious from day one regarding your course curriculum, at the same time also extra curricular activities. Because of that, you know, we have observed some students <coughs> are coming to college. Some students attending training classes that is a workshop or uh, placement regarding different trainings but still after two days they are not attending the training classes because they have thought yeah, we know the mathematical ability you are having that type of capability so you have to take that as per the company's basic needs that is your first duty in this regard I will say something in Bengali to the guardians I mean guardian that the request for good the after a coaching event Apara Pali College of Aspen, we will know HOD, DIC, or the coordinators, or the faculty members of the same contact for them. Who did it? Ashwina Hai, Apara Vassal number of teachers, the number of Beja. Apara Ekana Shoshi Jola Kuru, Apara Seventy, keep for this college. Chicharameda of the Bangla Gulam, or the Pierre Shalaka, and this is a jar, Japara Imako, 
ঠিক মতো তো খোঁজ নেই আপনি ছেলে ঠিক মতো ক্লাস করছে কিনা এবার অনেকে কলেজে আসে আসার নাম করে তো কলেজে এলো না সেই জন্য একটু খোঁজ নেবেন আপনি তো মাঝে মাঝে একটু কন্ট্যাক্টটা রাখবেন এটা ভালো লাগবে মানে ডে ওয়ানে আমি দেখি হাউসফুল থাকে কিন্তু পরে সেটা থাকে না সেই কন্ট্যাক্টটা থাকে না এখানে আমি এই বলেই আবার আমি আমার জায়গায় ফিরে যাচ্ছি সেটা হচ্ছে যে আওয়ার কলেজে ট্রাভেলিং র্যাগিং ফ্রি ক্যাম্পাস ইফ আই উইল অ্যাডভাইস ইন দিস দ্য স্টুডেন্টস প্লিজ ইফ এনি ওয়ান এনি সিনিয়ার ইউ আক্স ইউর নেম আর আদার থিংস ইউ জাস্ট অ্যানসার প্রোডাক্টলি বাট স্টিল ইফ ইউ ফিল এনি প্রবলেম অর দে শো এনি অ্যারেজেন্সি ইউ জাস্ট কন্ট্যাক্ট টু দ্য টেলিফোন নাম্বার উইচ অলরেডি গিভিং দ্যাট ইজ দ্য অ্যান্টি র্যাগিং কমিটি মেম্বার্স আর দেয়ার আর টোয়ার আলরেডি টুডেজ দেয়ার ইজ এ মিটিং উইথ অ্যাকচুয়ালি সি দ্যাট কমিটি সো আই থিঙ্ক দেয়ার হেল্প ইউ দেয়ার ইজ নো প্রবলেম and also you know that that this year post bengal joint letters board has declared the result in the month of june but due to the seat matrix problem finally they have completed on the joint letters board counseling 29 september just before pujo i mean already our professor gangul has told that j main counseling still now pending so we are in late so you have to remember if uh, there will be little bit pressure but don't worry our faculty members routine committee members and also induction committee members have made this routine so that we can continue simultaneously induction program as well as the your basic uh, basic classes that is the regular classes so you know that the uh, ircit has introduced a new program that the induction programs that will be continue around 3 weeks and i think you will enjoy this program and you there you will acquire the knowledge and it will be very good in future too so it is the point which we should remember and last i mean i want to say that the mention that sami vivekananda has told that the students are the backbone of the nations he has told that we want that education we want that education by which we can expand our mind we want that education by which we can increase our strength of knowledge we want that education by which one can stand one's own fate so please guys this is the most important point whatever you learn that you have to stand yourself so that is why i will say advice one thing you always respect your teachers because there should have a good relations between teachers and students if there is a good relations there is a better interaction is there and better interaction will lead to the better knowledge so i hope all of you will have a great bright future thank you everyone thank you thank you uh, dr avijit maithi uh, has rightly mentioned that the success of a student depends on the collective effort the collective effort of the individual student as well as the college authority and the guardians as well so it's very important to stay in touch with the college authority the faculty members to keep uh, a close eye on the progress of your work and on this note i request our honorable principal in charge dr smito di ganguli who is also the hod of the mechanical engineering department to address the gathering today please sir professor dr t k bondobadai president hubli engineering and technology college society respected dr obhijit maithi secretary hubli engineering and technology college society and also hod of electrical engineering department all my dear colleagues assembled here my beloved students especially the newly admitted first year and lateral entry students and ladies and gentlemen at the onset i welcome all the newly admitted first year students and also the newly admitted second year lateral entry students to our college that is hubli engineering and technology college normally in the past 
we have been arranging this orientation program for only the newly admitted first year students. But over the years, the strength of our lateral entry students have also increased and they are also newcomers to our college, though obviously from a different background. So we thought why not include them also in this orientation program. So in this year's orientation program, we have invited the newly admitted first year students as well as the newly admitted second year lateral entry students. Now the first year students, for the first year students, this is the first day of their college, or rather the first day in their college, uh, whereas for the uh, lateral entry students, they have already been admitted a few, uh, one or two months back or three months back and they have been attending the classes. So they have get accustomed to the ways of the college uh, partially. Anyway, I welcome you all again to our college and I hope that you will find the atmosphere here, the academics here, the practices here uh, useful and also in consonance your with aspirations. For the first year students, this is a major change in their life. So up to now they have been studying in schools and here they are face to face with the college life which is a new phase in their life. Now as you may be knowing that the technical institutions like ours they are approved by an all India body which is known as All India Council for Technical Education. So AICTE. Now considering that the students, the first year students, they are coming from different backgrounds, from different societies or from maybe from different provinces with difference in culture, difference in uh, ethos, all those things. So they <coughs> Uh, considering all these things and considering also that they have to be accustomed to the new environment, to the environment of the college, a program known as induction program has, <coughs> has been, uh, is being organized rather for the last couple of years as per the guidelines of that AICD. So remember that this orientation program for the first year students is a part of that induction program and officially that induction program continues for 21 days. So from tomorrow the first year students will have to attend the induction program where lectures will be given by different speakers, some of them guest speakers from outside, eminent speakers from outside the college. Some will be from inside the college to address them of the different activities of the college. So this process will continue for 21 days. At the same time, as there, uh, all of you I think are aware of this fact, that there has been a long delay or a large delay in admission of the first year students, in counselling of the joint admissions board or for that matter the JE mains. So the whole process has been delayed. So naturally the students will feel the pressure because there will not be much time in this semester. So considering all those things, we have decided that besides the induction program, the regular classes will also go on. So during the first half, there will be the induction program for the first newly admitted first year students. 
whereas in the second half of the day, normal academic activities, that is classes will be held and the routine will also be distributed to them. Uh, for the uh, second year lateral entry students, they have already been attending the classes and they will continue to attend the classes and their semester examination and all other schedules, they will go as per the schedule of the present second year students. So I, they will also, I think, will not get much time before the examination, so they should be sincere in their studies. Now whenever uh, a student gets admitted to a technical college, to a professional course, there is a large or we can say there is a great change in the education they are going to get here again in a technical course or a professional course because for the first year students they were up to now they were in schools so school education is an education which is mandatory or which is rather uh, <coughs> mandatory for all people, all uh, people of uh, the society or the country to get some basic knowledge so that they can fulfill the criteria and be a good citizen of the country, a good citizen of the 21st century. But on the other hand, when they are coming to a technical college for some professional courses, they must remember that they, or you rather must remember that you are going through this course only because you have chosen that this profession or this branch of engineering will be your chosen profession of the future. So you have to take out or you have to live by the knowledge you get here. So there is a fundamental difference between the school education and technical education. So whatever you are going to learn here that is that should be done to help you in your professional career throughout your life as an engineer. So you must give extra care, you must give extra effort to learn the tricks of the trade that are given to you by our faculty members, our technical assistants and all those things. And you also have to develop yourself by studying by yourself. So that is also a process. But you must remember this difference, the difference between school education and technical education. So if you want to be a good engineer, you must study seriously, you must study hard. Because the success of your future life will depend on ultimately how good a student you are, how good an engineer you become. And you, there is no shortcut to success. For the lateral entry students, they are coming already from a diploma engineering college and they are taking admission in the second year of the course and uh, they are accustomed to technical education but they also must keep in mind that they are coming for a and for an education which is one notch higher than that they got in during their diploma days. So they must also be very sincere in whatever they learn and whatever skills they acquire. Because learning 
because knowledge and skills they are very important nowadays especially in this competitive world i have also something to say to the respected guardians um i must say that your responsibility does not end by just admitting your son or your daughter to this college so you must also keep track of your work keep track of her studies her development and keep in touch regularly with the college by the college i mean you can keep touch with the respective hod of your sons or daughters department or the faculty members so just don't think that just by admitting your son or daughter to this college you will get the desired effect so i request you all to keep in touch with us and <coughs> take uh, regular stock of your students advancement or his education <coughs> i am also the head of the department of mechanical engineering now the mechanical engineering department was opened in 2010 and this year the ninth batch have passed out so nine batches of mechanical engineers have passed out from this college so our department has got every facility in terms of laboratories in lab in terms of machines and in terms of modern facilities like computers cat all those things so we also have a dedicated band of young teachers and faculty member and technical assistants i hope those who have taken the mechanical engineering course will be benefited from a the <coughs> department the departmental staffs and <coughs> they will progress <coughs> during their course of study now as you can already see this is a very small college hubli engineering and technology college and we say it is a family hubli engineering and technology college family because this is a very closely knit community community means by uh, by community i mean the teachers the non teaching staffs all employees of hgdc the students their guardians all these stakeholders together we are a very closely knit community and we are just like a family so i welcome you all the students your guardians to our family and so Uh, our faculty members technical assistants they are very supportive they are very helpful and all other non teaching staffs also you will in the course of your stay here you will find that they are very helpful so whenever you have any problem do not hesitate you contact your teachers you contact other staffs as as per your necessity and we will always be there to serve you now as you are all newcomers new students so you have a lot of aspirations a lot of hopes a lot of dreams for your future your future as a btech engineer but all dreams all aspirations they does not depend upon wishful thinking so they depend upon hard work they depend upon your zeal your uh uh your ability to work hard to imbibe new knowledge to learn new skills all these things also remember that when a particular organization or a company it want it employs you it, it employs you because it finds that 
you have certain skills or you have certain knowledge which will be useful to them. So you must have some useful qualities which will be sought by others. So if you, if the company does not find any quality in you which they prefer, so they will not employ you. So you must try and you already know all of you, it is a very competitive world, especially in our country where we have a large population. So try to work hard, try to learn sincerely and try to follow your teachers, whatever they say in the classes and what also try to learn the things in the labs. So these are very important things and without it hard work you cannot achieve your dream. And lastly, I again welcome all the new first year students and all the second year lateral entry students to this college and I sincerely hope that we will be able to meet their aspirations, their hopes and their dreams for a bright engineering future and I sincerely hope that they will find our college a congenial space, a useful organization for their purposes and <clears throat> it will be our best reward if they are successful in their life. So thank you all. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Principal, sir. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Uh, so as I mentioned, the uh, regular classes will start from tomorrow only. In the first half, we'll be having induction session, which is a mandatory session as uh, recommended by AICT. We have been holding this for the last few years. We have been holding this induction program. So this time, because of time constraints, as already mentioned, and as you all know, that we are running out of time. In fact, uh, we are already uh, delayed by two months. So we will parallelly run the induction session and regular classes. In the first half, we'll have induction session. Two sessions will be there per day. And in the second half, you will have your regular classes. Okay, and this will continue for three weeks, and then again, new routine, class routine will be shared with you. So now I uh, request uh, Shruti Lekha. So after the speeches by our secretary, president, and principal sir, I request our uh, civil second year student Shruti Lekha to come on stage and uh, perform here. Uh, she will be reciting a poem. Abriti Prevision and Juno, Ami Monchelachi, Shruti Lekha Jana, Shruti Lekha, Sivin Second Year. शपथे गोला 
ताजा ताजा प्राणी असह्य जंत्रणा ए बयसे प्राण तीव्र और प्रखर ए बयसे कान आसे कत मंत्रणा अठारो बचर बयस जे दौरबार पथे प्रान छोटाए बहु तूफान दुर्योगे हार ठीक मत रखा भार क्षत विक्षत है सहस्र प्राण आठरो बचर बस आघात आसे अविश्रांत एके जड़ो ए बयस कलो लक्ष दीर्घास बयस कपे बेदन थर थर तबु आठारोर शुने जयध्वनि ए बयस बाचे दुर्योगे और झड़े विपदे मुखे ए बयस अग्रणी ए बयस तबु नतून किचु तो करे ए बयस जान भिरु कपुरुष नय पथ चलते ए बयस जाए ना थेमे ए बयसे तई नहीं संशय ए देशर बुके अठारो आसुक नेमे धन्यवाद अनेक अनेक धन्यवाद श्रुति लेखा आठरो बचर बयस छक भागार बयस नतून स्वप्न देखार बयस एवं एक ही साथ जंजाल मुक्त करार बयस एवं अनेक अनेक स्वप्न के सफल करार बयस से ही आठरो अनेक आठरो के देखते चोखर सामने एवं एबार पर जेमनटा बोल प्राय दो बचर पर हम ए रखम एक ओरियंटेशन अनुष्ठान करफल सामना सामनी एतगुलो स्वप्न स्वप्नालु चोक देखा ये सत्य खूब सौभाग्य विषय नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट दि अनारेबल हेड अफ बेसिक सायस एंड ह्यूमानिटीज डिपार्टमेंट डर राजेश पत्र टू एड्रेस दि निलि एडमिटेड स्टूडेंट एंड गार्जेंस इन ब्रीफ फलोड बै दि एचओडी अफ सीविल इंजिनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट डर राजदीप पाल डर राजेश पत्र ऑन स्टेज respected president sir secretary sir principal sir and respected the guardians my dear colleagues and my beloved student the first year new admitted student as well as the lateral entry students the lateral entry students already started their classes therefore they are already know the corresponding environment of this campus of this college but the first year student start at this day in this college campus they will be know the environment of this college in future first of all i want to welcome all our newly admitted student especially first year student as well as obviously for the lateral entry students and i want to share that from my experience the first year students when start their classes or want to make a four years long journey to get the btech degree from this college first of all they do not want to get the marks only because i don't think that marks is only for the corresponding subject or corresponding degree actually the knowledge must be deeply learned from their subject if you don't learn about the subject therefore your existence will not be exist and that will very short therefore to learn yourself first of all and when you become any problem from your classes or anything directly you may contact with me as soon as possible from my capability or from other assistant from this college i want to make solve instantly according to that problem and already the sir already state about the different things from this or in this college and they are already mentioned that from tomorrow in the orientation day program side by side in the second half there will be the classes and the routine shortly will be shared to you in the whatsapp group and the guardian side request that from 
Day to day, you may direct contact with us, not for me, you may contact any one of the members of the college and want to know your daughter or son will the, what perform there and there will be any problem you directly this. And if there is any requirement, then time to time I always contact with you from your phone number. And I want to appeal some to my beloved students. First of all, the students dream aspire and make some their desire to take some result in your future life. And if you get hard working, then obviously you get some success in your life. And that will be the most priority of your life. And in your life, if you become a very good man, I do not want to say that you will get more marks. I will see that you be a very good man in your future life. Obviously, others at the simultaneously will be whole. And last of all, I want to say that be happy, be healthy for your future life. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Patro, uh, HOD of BSH department. Uh, let me tell you that uh, most of the classes for the first year students are being organized by the BSH department. Uh, for example, physics, mathematics, chemistry, English, etc. Most of the classes are being organized by the basic science and humanities department. So, irrespective of your departments, uh, you will be guided by the BSH department mostly. However, uh, faculty members from other departments will also have classes with you in the first and second sem, but mostly by the faculty members from the BSH department. And Dr. Rajesh Patru is not only the HOD of BSH, but also is the uh, convener of the anti-ragging committee. However, it has been mentioned time and again, and you know it very well, that uh, HETC is a green campus as well as an anti-ragging, uh, absolutely ragging free campus. So despite that, if you note any such incident, if you feel uncomfortable at any point of time, then please do contact the convener of the anti-ragging committee or any other member from the anti-ragging cell. The phone numbers of all the members are displayed uh, in various corners of the college, so feel free to contact them. However, I believe that there will be no such requirement in the four years to go. And the induction program, which will commence from tomorrow, is only for the first year students, not for the lateral students. I hope the lateral entry students know it well, but still, it's a disclaimer from our end. Now, I request uh, the HOD of Civil Engineering Department, Dr. Rajdeep Pan, to address the audience in brief. Thank you. Hello. Uh, okay. So, good morning, HETC. Uh, a very good morning to our honorable dignitaries on the dais. Uh, very good morning to all the faculty and staff members of HEDC. Uh, the greetings of the day uh, to all the new entrants of HEDC in the ongoing academic session and dear guardians. Uh, my name is Dr. Rajdeep Pal. Uh, presently, I'm acting as the head of the civil engineering department. Uh, it is very nice to see the full auditorium today after a long wait for two years and it is also a bright and sunny day, uh, perhaps a perfect day to commence a new journey and uh, you are commencing your new journey today. And uh, like every year after Durga Puja, uh, we used to see that the weather is getting dry and uh, also the daytime is coming down 
Uh, we are in the midst of uh, you know late autumn, which is considered to be the transitional season from autumn to winter, and uh, this is uh, like a hell of a time for the uh, patients of cold allergy because we used to suffer from fever, from cough and cold. All these things happens in this transitional phase, but. After going through this transitional phase, when winter sets in the full fledged, we used to cherish the different colors of winter, we used to cherish different flavors of winter. Now, why am I telling you this? What is the relevance? Uh, what is the analogy over here? I hope you are getting. Uh, likewise, in our lives, we have different seasons and obviously with different seasons, we used to go through different transition periods. Our new entrants are going through such a transition phase right now, but the difference is that the, this transition is going to be absolutely hassle-free in HEDC. Uh, no discomfort, no distress. See, in, in, in case of any transition, we used to feel some sort of distress, some sort of distress, uh, discomforts. Like sometimes it is very difficult to grasp, sometimes it is very difficult to digest, sometimes it is very difficult to cope up. But no such thing will happen in HEDC. You will enjoy your days, your college days are going to be very colorful, you are going to lead very colorful days in HEDC. Uh, okay, I won't linger my talk uh, because all the essentials are already being covered by our honorable dignitaries as well as our anchor, Mr. Shubham Ganguly has pointed out few things, essential things. Also the HOD of the Basic Science Department, Dr. Rajesh Patro has put forward uh, some essential points also. Uh, I would like to say that uh, please be honest, sincere and loyal with your study. Along with that, be energetic with your extra and co-curricular activities because that will be uh, um, even more feathers to your cap, okay? And uh, see, HETC is indeed uh, a six string in your hand. If you can tune it well, uh, if you can play it with uh, the bottom of your heart, uh, you are going to enjoy your college days. The college days are going to be the best days of your life. Uh, I hope you are getting, I'm quoting Brian Adams over here. Okay, and uh, it, it is my moral responsibility as I am putting him, it is my moral responsibility to sing at least one verse of Brian Adams. With the permission, I would like to take permission from our dignitaries. Sir, can I sing one verse of Brian Adams over here? And also uh, from the anchor, because I, perhaps we are running late in the program. May I? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let me just sing one verse of Summer of 69 uh, of Brian Adams, okay? <laughs> I got my first real six string, but it had a five and nine. Played it till my fingers bled. It was the summer of '69. Me and some guys from school had a band and we tried real hard. Jimmy quit and Judy got married. Should've known we would never get far. When I look back now, the sound seemed to last forever. And if I had the choice, yeah, I always wanna be there. Those were the best days of my life. Cheers to the new beginning of uh, your journey. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, also being the convener of the induction program committee, I would like to. Uh, extend my deep sense of gratitude to uh, uh, to all the members of the induction program committee especially the joint convener mr shorodak choudhury and also other members of the committee uh, our advisors of the committee professor dr tk bondopadhyay professor dr obhijit maiti dr smitodhi ganguly uh, the advisors who has put forward their valuable suggestions as and when we needed it the most and uh, Thank you to Mr. Shubham Ganguly for gladly accepting to host the session today. Uh, he is a very versatile person and he will be conducting one or two sessions in induction program also. Anyway, thank you so much. I, but I should have mentioned the name of Mr. Shokti Pratulai also, the liaison officer who has also put forward a commendable effort and also uh, all other persons who were uh, involved in organizing this particular program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rajdeep Pal.
Hello, I want to announce that Lajdeep Pal is our student, that is a good failure to ourselves, okay? I, I was just about to mention that, that uh, Rajdeep is not just uh, the HOD of Civil Engineering Department, but at the same time is an alumnus of HATC as well. The first batch from 2004 to 2008, Civil Engineering Department. And now I request uh, the Honorable Departmental in Charge of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, uh, Mr. Shorup Shamantur, to come on the dais and address the newly admitted students as well as the gadgets, please. Good morning, I respect it. I'm so sad, Dr. Smita Di Ganguly, Bukhli Engineering and Technology College. I respect it. Secretary Sir, Dr. Obhid Malti, Bukhli Engineering and Technology College Society. I respect it. President Sir, Professor Dr. T. K. Gondavadhar, Bukhli Engineering and Technology College Society. My dear colleagues, dear parents and my dear students. Welcome to HDC. All the speakers already discussed everything about engineering and HDC. So without elaborating anything, just one thing, remember that next four years is very, very crucial for your life. So study hard, stay tuned, we are always with you. Those student, dear students, those who choose ECE, it's a good choice. Why? Because from ECE you can move anywhere like PSU, banking, IT sector, software, hardcore ECE. So it's a good choice. On behalf of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, welcome all the ECE students in the ECE Department of HDC. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Shorup Shamoto. Uh, rightly mentioned, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, a very good choice, uh, not only in HTC, but anywhere it's a good choice because you can move on to the IT sector, you can move on to the core sector, as well as you can apply for the job of engineers in the government sector and other public sector undertakings as well. So it's a good choice all the time. Uh, now I request uh, the Honorable uh, Departmental in Charge of the Computer Science and Engineering Department, Mr. Dibendu Shamanto. Respected President Sir, Respected Secretary Sir, Respected Principal Sir, My dear colleagues, All staff members of HEDC and the newly admitted first year and also the lateral MD students and respected guardians. First of all, I heartily welcome all the newcomers to this orientation program 2022. This is a much awaited day, remarkable day for all students. And I congratulate all the first year students and lateral MD students for being a part of HEDC family. On behalf of Computer Science and Engineering Department, I assure that we shall do everything possible to equip you with the teaching resources, practical exposures and different training methods so that you can save your life for the challenging world. So already principals are mentioned, 
there is a key difference between the teaching in school and college in school the students are mainly coached whereas in college the teachers are like the facilitators they are owned the any kind of spoon feeding you have to proactively learn your papers so keep your eyes and ears open so that you can learn as much as possible and one more thing i want to mention be regular in the classes because in technical education every day preparation is very much important and another thing so be interactive with your teachers and also with your friends that is another important aspect and the second thing is that i want to share some views regarding the placement activities so obviously you should have some technical knowledge but companies don't look for the book ones only companies look for the well grounded personalities okay so you need to have lot of common senses that is a very important thing so what you learn outside the classroom is much more important to what you learn inside the classroom so many students from this college already they are occupying higher positions in many prestigious organizations so they have succeeded in many respects and i believe that you will also reach the peak of success and now the respected guardians be in touch be in touch with the teachers and it is not the it is your responsibility it is not the responsibility from our side only so for the building of the career of the students so you have to be responsible so be active in knowing the performance of your board okay in the internal exams and also in the semester exams ami ekta jinis ekhane boli je amader as per university guideline motamoti char khana internal assessment test hoy to ei internal assessment test pray monthly ja schedule ache monthly ekta kore test hoy to tar performance er upor base kore kintu internal marks ta evaluate hoy out of 30 তো আপনাদের আমরা এটা রিকোয়েস্ট করব তো এই পারফরমেন্সটা কি রকম হচ্ছে সেটা কিন্তু রেসপেক্টিভ টিচার হোক বা রেসপেক্টিভ যিনি এইচওডি আছেন তো তার সাথে একটু কিন্তু এটা আপনারা যোগাযোগ করবেন যে পারফরমেন্স কি রকম হচ্ছে এটা কিন্তু খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট একটা জিনিস ওকে তো ফাইনালি হোয়াট আই ওয়ান্ট টু মেনশন স্টে ফোকাসড ইন দ্য কামিং ফোর ইয়ার্স the next four years of your life is going to be very inspiring years so finally i wish all the newcomers the a very happy and academically fulfilling journey wish you all the best thank you thank you all thank you thank you so much mr dipendu shamanto uh definitely as sir mentioned that the teaching learning process has changed a lot over the last few decades uh, it's not just coaching or training the students it's now it's now like facilitating the students as per iict it's not the teacher term is used anymore we use the term facilitators okay anyway we are done with all the uh, you know gravity of this program uh no more speeches we are done with the speeches so uh now we'll uh, straight move on to the cultural part of this program and also we would like to welcome you in a very traditional way to this campus uh before that i would request srija to perform a song a solo song uh, srija mojumdar from csc second year so srija on stage srija perform korbe তার পাশাপাশি তোমরা যারা এই কলেজে নতুন আজকে যারা প্রথমবারের জন্য কলেজে অ্যাজ স্টুডেন্ট এর আগে অফিসিয়াল কারণে অ্যাডমিশনের জন্য অনেকবার আসতে হয়েছে আজকে যারা প্রথমবার 
কলেজে আসছো ছাত্র হিসেবে নতুন যে জার্নি শুরু হচ্ছে তারাও যদি কেউ মনে করো তোমাদের জন্য সময় থাকবে যদি কেউ চাও পারফর্ম করতে বা দু এক কথা বলবার জন্য জাস্ট প্রিপেয়ার ইউর মাইন্ড প্রিপেয়ার ইউর সেলফ স্পন্টেনিয়াসলি ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু এক্সপ্রেস ইউর হার্ট ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু রিসাইট আ পোয়েম ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সিং আ সং ইভেন ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু ডান্স ইউ ক্যান ডু দ্যাট উইল উইল প্লে দ্য মিউজিক অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান ডু দ্যাট ওকে নো প্রায়ার প্রিপারেশন রিকোয়ার্ড উই ডু দিস এভরি ইয়ার ওয়েন এভার উই হোল্ড দিস কাইন্ড অফ আ প্রোগ্রাম তোমাদের জন্য আর যারা অভিভাবক যারা আছেন তাদের উদ্দেশ্যও বলছি আপনারাও যদি আপনাদের কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে নিশ্চিতভাবে আপনারা গত কয়েক মাস ধরে আমাদের সঙ্গে কথা বলেছেন অ্যাডমিশন সেলের মেম্বারদের সঙ্গে আপনাদের বিভিন্ন প্রশ্নের আমরা চেষ্টা করেছি যথাযথ উত্তর দেওয়ার যতটা সম্ভব এতদ সত্ত্বেও যদি কিছু জানার থাকে কিছু বলার থাকে কিছু সাজেশনস থাকে আপনারাও বলতে পারেন আমাদের ডিগ্নিটারিজ প্রিন্সিপাল স্যার সেক্রেটারি স্যার এবং প্রেসিডেন্ট স্যার এবং তাছাড়া সবাই যারা রয়েছেন ডেপুটি রেজিস্ট্রার ম্যাডাম থেকে শুরু করে ডিপার্টমেন্টাল হেড তারা আছেন প্রত্যেকেই তারা উত্তর দেবেন যার যেটা ক্ষেত্র তারা বলবেন আপনারা শুধু ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ নো বার আপনারা যে ভাষায় সাবলীল বোধ করেন আপনারা সেই ভাষাতেই বলতে পারেন এবং পারফর্ম করার ক্ষেত্রেও যে ভাষায় তোমরা সাবলীল সেখানেই বলতে পারো সো ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ নো বার জাস্ট এক্সপ্রেস ইউ হার্ট হোয়াট এভার ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সে ইফ ইউ ফিল সো ওকে শ্রীজা অন স্টেজ শ্রীজা মজুমদার সিএসি সেকেন্ড ইয়ার প্লিজ পুরো পুরি হ্যান্ডস টুগেদার বিগ রাউন্ড অফ প্লাস
स्पर्श पे कलेजे पा रेखे तक बरण कर समय खूब एथनिक वे ते in a very traditional way we would now like to welcome you all to the portals of hugli engineering and technology college your senior students your seniors will welcome you i hope all our volunteers are prepared okay from this side uh, from the left side of the stage badik theke ami bolbo ami kono department by year alada kore mention korchi na ektu line up kore nebe jara স্টেজের অর্থাৎ আমার বাদিকে বা স্টেজের বাদিকে যারা রয়েছ একটু জাস্ট লাইন আপ করে নাও নতুন স্টুডেন্ট একটু নিজেদের চেয়ার ছেড়ে বেরিয়ে এসে পাশে যে প্যাসেজটা রয়েছে এখানে একটু লাইন আপ করার জন্য রিকোয়েস্ট করছি সবাইকে এদিকে রোডটা একটু পরে আমরা শুরু করছি স্টেজের ডান দিকে যারা রয়েছ তারা একটুখানি সবাই মিলে একবার জোরে হাততালি सबाइकेम You all will come up with flying colors in the days to come. Shabai ke onik onik shubhcha, onik bhalo basha. Hugli Engineering and Technology College ko khote ke. First year newly admitted students as well as lateral new entrants all are requested to come up. Your untiring efforts 
around the clock for making this program such a great success and paving the path for all your juniors. Thank you volunteers, thank you senior students, second third year students. Hey Nodun, hey Nobin, Shabai ke shagato, Chiro Nodun, ebang shomos to Nobin jara hey college in campus ne aaj ke prathom baare chuno paar akcho, shuru korchu niye the chhatro jiban, shuru korchu Nodun dinet pot chala, Shabai ke shagato, Hooghly Engineering and Technology College er phone ko dekhe. So thank you everybody for attending this, attending this program and we really feel 
sorry for those who have not been able to attend this program because the, they are not yet done with the final admission procedure. A lot of students will join in the, in the next few days, in the next 10 to 15 days, we will complete the admission process and they will also be a part of this new fraternity. We really feel sorry for them, but we also wish them a very good luck from this dais today.
for such a beautiful performance. This is Vidita Mishra of CSE second year. We are inviting Arpan Mandal of ECE second year to present himself before us with a beautiful song. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, everyone.
আন্টিনা মিলন হবে গত দিনে
আচ্ছা এবার আগে পর্যন্ত সব প্রোগ্রাম আমরা আগে থেকে প্ল্যান করে রেখেছিলাম এই করবে এটা করবে ওটা করবে এবার হচ্ছে হঠাৎ করে এসে জানালো আমাদের ফার্স্ট ইয়ারে নতুন স্টুডেন্ট শীর্ষা রয় এইচডিসি সিএসসি ডিপার্টমেন্টে এবছরই অ্যাডমিশন নিয়েছে শীর্ষা দিদি এল্ডার সিস্টার শ্রেয়া শ্রেয়া আমাদের ফোর্থ ইয়ারের স্টুডেন্ট তো আমি শীর্ষাকে আগে স্টেজে ডাকবো শীর্ষা আমি করবো আমি করবো করে এত তখন লোকজন চলে আসে আমরা জায়গা দিতে পারি না আজকে না করলে পরে আর কিন্তু চান্স পাওয়া যাবে না सेमिनार हल those who are not yet uh, done with the guardian signature and all if you have any uh, inquiry regarding the admission procedure and all please contact the admission cell members in the seminar hall jodi karo signature baki thake ba onno kono documents joma dewar thake program shesh howar por dupur 3 te theke admission cell e aste parbe ei somosto kajer jonno okay আর আজকেও কয়েকজন হয়তো ফাইনাল অ্যাডমিশন যে ফর্ম ফিল বাকি রয়েছে সব কাজের জন্যই দুপুর তিনটের পর থেকে আসতে পারবে অ্যাডমিশন সেলে নাও ইটস টাইম ফর শীর্ষা টু কাম অন স্টেজ অ্যান্ড পারফর্ম ফর দ্য ফার্স্ট টাইম অ্যাট এইচটিসি প্লিজ শীর্ষা অন স্টেজ
हेलो हेलो नमस्कार उपस्थित सकल शिक्षक शिक्षिका वृंद अभिभावक वृंद अभिभावक अभिभाविका वृंद सिनियर जो छात्र छात्री थे थे तो सकल के सश्रद्ध प्रणाम सकले विजय प्रणाम ने सकल के शुभ विजया दिदीशा गोस्मी सी एस सी थार्ड इयर स्टूडेंट और जरा फार्ष्ट इयारे नतून एलो सकल के खूब एक वार्म वेलकाम जाना कलेज एक दारूण वेलकाम प्रोग्राम दीचे सबा के तो आशा करी रेस्ट अब द फोर्थ इयर चारटे बचर तुम्हारे खूब भलो जाए गान गईब आज के तो आशा करी तुम्हारे भलो लगे ना भलो लगे एक हाथी दी दिओ
बहुदिन भाव तारुणी 
शेष कर completion of this orientation program will start another session from 2:30 onwards in this auditorium hall please be there second year first year students and uh, second year lateral students are also requested to be there am mona apnader kono prashno ki nei je jodi karor kono prashno ba kichu bolar thake kindly hat dibe na amader volunteer ra mic ni apnader kache jabe language no but uh, you may speak the language you are comfortable with okay first year theke jodi keu kichu korte chao ba bolte chao aste paro monche first year theke first year student jara acho first year ba lateral entry new student jara tader moddhe jodi keu thake kichu korte chao amar kache onek yes chilo amader kache er age चले First your name please Virudha Mukhopadhyay Shushmita Das Okay Virudha and Shushmita from EC and Electrical Engineering Department respectively Okay chal Bye. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you.